Sidam Jyoti here from myvisitutube.com and today in this video I am going to tell you how you can design a beautiful website by using Bthemes. So this is the website which I am going to demonstrate or created today. Uh, so that is the you can tell the main menu that is the carousel or slider whatever and that I use, I use some background color and uh, text and uh, here uh, our service session and um, features and you can see that when I hover that on that and that background color and the color icon get changed it's called icon box it's a bthem in build function and here about a session here some I post some videos and here is the bthem gallery and here is the bthem team session I mean this is the actual inbuilt one I mean bthem team option is there and here is theme testimonial bthem testimonial and um, that is the contact uh, contact form okay the contact form 7 by using the cont contact form 7 it's already inbuilt in bthem so you no need to download and again install the plugin and here I use that Google map and here the address and that's the footer so for designing it first of all I need the B theme so for that you have to purchase the B theme from the theme first or uh, I'm here I'm doesn't use the li live online server here I am using the AMP offline server that is that AMP offline server page okay this is one so for that you have to come to www.apachefriends.org slash download.html if you windows user then you have to download any version from here if you linux then from here and if you the mac user you have to download from here after installing you have to open that amp control panel by default the control panel will look like that when you it will open it so from that you have to on start this apache and mysql server okay so after that you have to open localhost you have to type that localhost slash dashboard so this window will open from that you have to come in php my admin and in you have to click in the new to create a new database like b b beauty and click in the create so one new database will be created after that you have to come in you have to come in that uh, C drive uh, first of all you have to download that wordpress.org it's needed yeah you have to click it here I already downloaded it uh, so in the download session uh, it's already there that uh, this zip file will get download you have to extract it after extracting you will get like that so I need this one so open another file uh, Windows Explorer or file explorer so now you have to come in the C drive and in the C drive you have to come in XAMP or AMP whatever and after that HT docs HT docs yeah this one you have to open it um, copy everything and rename it at I'm giving that B beauty only after that in that B beauty WP content themes in that I already um, purchased the B theme so they give the setup file and it's here so in B theme yeah I need this one so copy and paste it okay it's done so now let's come here and type localhost slash b beauty B beauty okay so after that this window will open 
uh, I need that uh, English language so just English United said whatever you have the language you can select that and after that hit the continue one and uh, let's go after that uh, give the database name I mean whatever you give in that uh, top session I mean uh, from here you can see that uh, what you already put here uh, the D beauty okay it should be same and it should be case sensitive okay so from here you have to just, just paste it be beauty username should be root and password i doesn't need and database should be localhost and prefix you can give whatever you want but this one is almost compulsory okay uh, don't use wp in your live project uh, due to the security reason but here uh, it's a dummy project so i'm keeping the wp only so after that you have to click in submit after that run the installation it will take some time yeah it's now asking that um, site title so whatever the site title this called the site title this blog tool publishing home the beauty like that uh, so here i am entering that being beauty the beauty and username password you have to keep in mind whatever you want um, and there one mail id is compulsory dot da is seven whatever the mail id that uh, try to use that uh, original mail id okay uh, after that you have to just click in that uh, wordpress installation so after that uh, it will be run and here it's showing that admin and password your choice after that you have to click in login so after that yeah you have to put in the admin and admin and um, because i keep the username admin and password also admin after that you have to click in this login bottom after login you have to come in appearance that is called the dashboard uh, from the theme in the theme you can find that beauty be theme so you have to activate it uh, it will after that uh, begin installation installing the plugins okay you have to click here so you have to click uh, here and here install and apply it will take some time depend on your internet speed i mean one by one it will get downloaded and installed that is almost uh, seven six plugin so after installing the pl plugin i will come back because it will take some time so after uh, installing it will ask for activate so again you have to click in this uh, bulk, um, bulk option and again you have to click in activate and apply so all the plugin will be get activate at the, at a time it will take some time so after installing and activating all the plugin the, the dashboard will look like that so First of all, you have to create some pages. By default, some pages is there. You can just um, delete them. Okay. So now come here and add new. Click in this. So write the name of the page. Okay. After that, publish. Yeah, it done. Now I need a cursor slider and um, one beautiful uh, menu also. So first of all, um, make the sliders. So for that, I, I using this uh, slider resolution click here in that new slider come down it will ask for um, the type of the and here yeah, here you have to put the name so home and the allies also home okay so here I need this full skin so click in this full skin option and in go down and uh, save settings now 
this window will come so here i need the background so for that i have to click here and media library you have to upload all the images whatever you need so i'm doing every i'm selecting all the images and just click in the open so whatever the images needed it will get uploaded one by one so all images uploaded here and after that i need this image here so click in the insert yeah let's come here so i need a text layer here so click in this add layer and text html okay so here you can see that text layer so whatever you want to write on this you have to mention here i'm here writing some text like beauty saloon beauty saloon okay i need some bigger text like 120 pixel okay I'm just adjusting everything, the position and all, and this is for alignment. I mean, and middle. Sorry, this this is the middle. Okay, so after that, I just adjust everything. I need another text layer. So click here again. Uh write some random text like Let us collect some of 2018 and make the size as 40. Okay? So come down Okay, make like that. Save it and check how it's look like. This is the preview. Yeah, it's okay. So it done. Uh, come to top. Add slider. Add blank slider. Again, we have to do the same thing. I mean, main background images, media library. and this one insert okay again text layer add image add a text so write some text here best style bhai missing um, again uh, size of that should be 120 pixel and again the alignment should be in middle left okay Again, add the another layer. Right, same thing. Some random text, whatever you can write here. Uh, make the size as forty. Come it down. Keep it here like that. Save slider and again add another one. Hmm. 
Yeah, media library. How oh, this meme is this one? You can write some text. Add text. Beauty spot. Okay. 120 click here uh, this element and okay and add another layer you can type the same thing some random text for Make it the size of 40 pixel. preview it how it's look like no this one should be gone little bit more so I mean it uh, you can understand I mean uh, that's for make it proper I'm doing all this thing mm, it will go on little more now let's save it it look good now mm. what about keep it because it's a dummy project only so yeah it's okay now after that what I have to do you have to come in the setting come in top slider setting yeah this one here there is a navigation so enable arrow come in bullet enable that after that in general setting uh, stop slider on hover I mean if you want that on hover slider should stop you have to on that okay uh, like that Default loop loop single slide stop slider. Uh, okay, that's enough. Uh, uh, decrease a little bit. Let me make it three thousand three thousand millisecond. And first slides. Uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, navigation thumbnail. Felix scroll effect. Uh, okay. Hope it's perfect now. Mm, no, I doesn't need that. It will be automatic. Okay, everything is okay. Now just save it. Now come back in the page. You already make it home page. So open that now come little down here there already a session for slider should be there uh, why did it go on yeah just select that home and update it let's take the preview okay let's come now I need a good menu because I have to write something so for that you have to come in appearance menus now create a menu so main menu I can create menu I put the menu name and 
hit create menu okay after that come here in custom links keep it empty i'm writing that design designs add menu you can features add menu about gallery team testimonial and context context mm, add that one also that home page home read the menu because they are only a single page and drag it in top okay so my menu is ready and here just can give it that in main menu okay and save it if we refresh it you can see that all yeah it, everything is come now i need to change this b theme logo so for that what to do you have to come in again in appearance and b theme option is there you have to click it appearance b theme option in here in google global and click in logo okay so text logo because i doesn't create any logo uh, if you have any logo you directly just, just browse it and set the image here okay so like b b beauty whatever save it and i need to change the color also so color in header not header and uh, thing in menu Here, whatever you change the link color, it will come. Um, it will change that. Okay, so change the menu color. Um, I have to come in color header, and here is the option. What the color you need? You have to just write the code here. I need this one. So after that, just set the change. Let's rip. Yeah, see, it's come. Okay. So after that, what I have to do? I have to change the link color. So for that, you have to come in this menu session. I need that link color should be in white. Okay. So here, um, just click in the white white color and just set the changes. And uh, after that, uh, I need to change that active color uh, also. So here, that active uh, the active link color is there. so for that what i have to do i want it should be in black in color so after that i have to save it again now let's check how it's look like refresh it all the colors should be in white yeah no active one is in black so i doesn't uh, i need i doesn't need this search icon and i want everything should be in right alignment so for that i have to come in the menu um align align menu to right this option 
and another thing uh, save it and in header I think to hide option should be there and I need this style here okay and and and, and after that sub header um, the search option should be here and there somewhere extra yeah make it hide the search option make it hide and save it the search icon should gone now see it's gone now okay so after that i have to come back in the page um this page from their home okay and in a home add session okay this is the muffin builder add session after that add wrapper or add wrap and after that item so here typography column and make it full full width so first of all uh, okay another thing i have to do and i want this one should be full width so here what i have to do just um, style yeah in this full width full width this option and save it and change the background of that okay and save the change okay now uh, write some element here so i'm taking the h110 and i want the color should be white so style equal to in between double quote color okay semicolon write some random text uh that's the for br tag means next line and take a paragraph and the same the style just copy it style and font size of 20 pixel i'm giving font size 20 pixel and again semicolon close it and close the p tag so take some random text just to tell okay uh after that uh, give some padding like uh, 100 pixel top and down i mean top and bottom and 30 pixel in left and right and come down and save it okay let's update it preview the changes okay everything is right uh, i have to mention that everything text align should be in the center so for that what i have to do uh, come here and text align should be center and save it save the changes update it yeah 
it's perfect now take another session add wrap and for this session give some padding top and um, padding bottom so I'm making that 70 in top and 30 in bottom save it add wrapper add item typography column Similarly, I am giving some heading and downside some paragraph. Okay, so you can see it. The font size up in paragraph font size I am taking again 40, and heading I doesn't use any CSS. And after heading I use one big tag. Again, uh, text alignment should be centered. Okay and save after that um, i have to add another wrap okay in add item i have to search for icon box okay in icon box make it one third so in a single column i need three so i make it one third after that click in the edit icon give some heading and give some text also and downside add the image for it gone image which one which one which one which one should I give give that one select file if you want animation you can add on this option just okay here I am not going to adding so just it's for copy or duplicate so just change the text man salon and here i am changing that audio and uh, changing the image mm, this one save it and for that also doing the same thing kids salon and change the image uh which image yeah, let's give that one and save it and save the changes okay so let's save it or update it now preview the changes how it looks like now it's come perfectly just perfect uh, I can uh, I want this uh, heading should be in um, like in this pink color so for that I can uh, add some custom CSS here to adding custom CSS you have to again go in appearance B theme option there in downside you can find some custom CSS option this is for custom css and js okay and this is for css and this is for js okay so i have to see the what the class name of that Okay, H4 and that icon box, icon box, I C O N. This one, so icon box and H4 in between. So yeah, so dot I C O N underscore box. Sorry, B O X and in between H4. 
color color I need this pink one let's take the color code sorry it's coming next line okay whatever uh, just next make the semicolon and close the bracket save it uh, yeah it's changed so now take another session you have to come back in the page in page home my system is little slow so that's why it's taking that much time actually so please bear with me and another session and the session added here so again I have to mention that padding 70 and 30 so after that save the changes uh, make it 70 70 so downside will be a big padding also okay so add a refer add item typography column make it full width edit so again I am taking one h1 and another paragraph see that h1 and again I am taking that paragraphs if you want you can leave the break tag here okay so save it now I am taking icon box again so for that um, add wrapper add item you can search for icon box make it one third okay so add some heading add some text and take any icon icon position should be in top okay so everything set so just save it copy twice edit change the heading and change that take another icon save it so edit here again change, change the heading change the icon camera icon had it's gone yeah this one and again save it So update it check it now everything okay I have to make it in the, the text line should be in center and I want this icon should be appeared in pink color so let's make that um, text line sent for center for that text line should be center here save it update it again I have to mention some custom CSS for that So I have to yeah it's loaded now again to appearance and it's gone appearance B theme option this video going little bigger I know but um, I want to specify each and every step so 
changing the color there is a css code that is a code okay okay after that save it I refresh that also yeah see it's come very beautiful now so again come back to page so post uh, sorry pages in home let's get loaded now yeah so add another session now I need that about session so for that what to do make it full width so it is going to default on here full width full width and that background option should be here and there yeah background image choose that background image yeah this one and your center no repeat everything is okay and background size should be cover save the change now add wrap making half copy it take a placeholder make it full width and for that add a column typography column make it full okay so here I am writing some text so take that h1 about us break and paragraph style font size font size giving 18 pixel and close it Take some random text after add the VR tag again some random text again that sorry another break tag after that add a bottom for that I'm using the shortcut option and click in the bottom it's coming in top okay so bottom link like I was writing the gallery and color color here I am giving like um, white so the font color I have to mention that white so has okay mm, and save it let's update it see how it's look like now bottom text will not display now I have to edit something for that 
um, I think yeah it's not displaying now um, I have to change that text I have to mention some padding so come here the padding up 30 pixel top and bottom and 15 pixel left and right save it and update it now let's change that bottom color also so for that again you have to come in that appearance and be theme option let load it again 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 here appearance with theme option color after that please make it fast um, color i think content text link color button background yeah here okay save it check it now what happened yeah it's perfect now just perfect okay but uh, if i give some background um, i mean some color here and the text will appear more good i think so for that we have to do one thing uh, go to page from their home let it get loaded for this one Take some little grayish background color. This will be help to identify the text, I think. See, the text is very quite better now. Right. So after that let's add that video session so for that add session you can mention that 70 30 and 70 top padding and 30 down padding save it add wrapper um, add item typography column make it half okay so again uh, i'm taking one h1 and with some paragraph that's a h1 and again after using break uh, break br tag i mean the next line tag here i take the paragraph so save it and after that add item uh, typography column make it also half and for that I'm using one iframe of Vimo player okay go to new uh, video or youtube video whatever you want okay like that so just save the changes update it let's check how it looks like now
yeah it's okay okay so after that add another session I actually give this one just for copyright is so maybe they are asking for copyright or something so that's why I keep that so add another session in this session add wrapper add item typography column I'm um, to make that heading for the gallery so as well as I'm taking one H1 and another pa paragraph tag and again font size I mentioned 18 pixel and some text okay to so save it so after that I'll just save it um, open the dashboard because I have to check the ID for uh, that what I can tell that uh, images I mean the media ID I have to check it just go to B T H B B theme gallery that is I think three or four types of galleries there not this one else do one thing B theme in short code you, you can find that you go to B theme from the short code and gallery option should be there uh, from there there is so many option is there actually let's load the page yeah this gallery option mm, here actually I'm taking this one So copy it and add item again another column sorry do one thing uh, add wrapper add item typography column make it in full width So ideas should be uh, I have to write here so for that um, how to check the ideas yeah this all the ideas twelve thirteen 10 12 right by one by one uh, I think 10 12 13 comma 12 comma and search for 14 16 14 comma 16 comma uh, 17 18 19 20 I mean you can understand now this downside you can see that post is equal to 19 that is the ID okay so 16 uh, from here 17 18 19 20 and downside you can check it so 16 17 comma 18 comma 19 comma 20 and I want everything in column in a single column the four icons should be there so Take that also. Just save it, update it. 
Momentik. come perfectly you can kind of click it it will open like that light box effect i have to make it again test and should be centered so come down column none so then test and center set the changes now i have to make the our team session so add another session come down add ref add item now in this in add item uh, typography and column make it in full width ok and here I have to mention some heading along with some subheading so in each one tag i mention the team and i use the break tag for next line and um, in paragraph in uh, mention the style the front side should be 18 pixel and i take some text okay so let's end it up the paragraph okay and just save it after that let's uh, add another wrapper or you can do one thing add item directly uh, better to add another wrapper uh, so add wrapper add item here just type team our team you have to take this one this one i need total four so one fourth is okay so First of all, uh, I have to click in the photo. Mm, which photo? Let's check this one and keep some title in the name and uh, keep side title empty. And you can give the phone number also, like last nine one. Seven three nine six four zero three six seven two. And if you want to tell about uh, him or her something, you can mention here, okay? Like that. Whatever. So after that, if you uh, want to mention his email ID, Facebook ID, if you um, want to mention, you can mention here. Um, I am keeping it empty here, okay? so let's save it and make for copy so just edit and change the images so change the name match center uh, whatever just uh, also change the name letter to Susan Um, let's update it give you the changes okay it's perfect I have to make it uh, that alignment in center 
so for that let's come back and down and make it center okay so now let's um, go for that testimonial session so in B theme it's already people there you can you can see the testimonials uh, let's load it the page come to testimonial add new so for that take some dummy text Pick up some dummy test text. I don't need that much, uh, it's enough. Uh, give some name like Dev Jyoti Das I am mentioning I show tips uh, it doesn't have the images if you have images you can add it in the feature image okay so image also will appear that with that so next one will be add new text and dummy test yeah that's live name and <laughs> So just publish and sorry forgot to give the company name and publish it and uh, whatever uh, sorry forgot to add new. After that, come back to page. So in home page. Let's add another session. I want uh, this should be uh, pink background so for that the background color should be pink so just copy the code here okay and let's save it Add item and test testimonial. I want this one, not testimonial list. So I forgot one thing. Uh, I have to mention that, uh, like, this would be full with full with. Save the change and, and testimonial. Uh, hide photo. Yes. Mm, yeah. So I have to give some padding top and padding bottom so make it like uh, 50 pixel in up and down and uh, sorry 50 pixel and 0 pixel okay so let's save it and check how it's look like now check 
check the preview. Everything okay, but um, I need what I need that I need this text color should be appear in white color and uh, the whatever the text it should be the center align okay remaining everything is okay so for that i have to mention some custom css so for that come in appearance with him option custom css I have to make that the blank way blank or dot a blank way dot a on hover the color should be white and text and should be centered let's save that and refresh it so it's become white now and it's looking good also so after that go back to page open the home add a new session add a new session So after that add a wrapper, add item, so again I need the typography, column, make it full width, again the same thing. I make a heading and after a brick tag some paragraph in a fact paragraph and the which the style should be in with the font size and after that I take some dummy text and close the tag the slash okay I'll save it after that um, I need the contact form but I doesn't need its full width but it should be displayed in the center so for that what I have to do add um, let take one add item placeholder make it little smaller and copy it and sorry 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 I don't need the divider uh, add wrapper placeholder item typography column and some sign okay let's save that pattern after that I need to come in the contact form session from there I have to copy the short code of that so that is the short code just copy it come back to page and click in the home page and just 
here click in the edit tab and paste it and make the text alignment should be center okay for that also text alignment should be center save it update it Here you have the changes. Add another session. Here add wrapper. So add item typography column. Make it in half width. Let's check how it looks like. Yeah, it's come perfectly. I think I forgot to mention that uh, padding of downside and top side. So no problem. We can anytime we can come here and let me mention that 70 and next one is 30. Okay. So save it. Now I need a Google Map live code. So for that we have to do come in that map will be displayed here anywhere it's map so which location map you want to share so what you have to do this I'm showing that take any place like that after that share embed map so you can change the size here larger custom size whatever now just copy it and come back to that and and paste it here and make that center So after that take another item typography column make it full width uh, and it should be the background should be a little bit different than the common little bit grayish background or something so change the background first of all okay and for here I am taking one H4 tag style color one two three four five six one two three four five six okay address no break tag paragraph style equal to color as here I am giving my address And use the break tag after everything so it will come in next line here take another break tag and mention the copyright one and in the paragraph here uh, mention I have to mention some padding here so let's take 40 pixel in top in right side 0 pixel and downside I'm taking like 180 pixel and in the left hand side I'm taking padding up 30 pixel let's save it 
अपडेट चेक इट हाउ इट्स लुक लाइक नाउ It's looking little bigger, and um, so I have to decrease the padding in down section. Let's too much BR is there, I think. Let's decrease the save it and check it once. Make it 160 down road sign. So come down. Make it 160. Set the change. Update. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect now. I want this uh, should appear in a little this uh, portion uh, color should be should be different because it's not looking good. If you uh, this contact form session color, I need little difference in that. So let's come back here and change the color of that. Contact form session in this wrapper. Set the changes. Update it and check it. Yeah, quite good now. And here also I need some mat. I mean, margin top. So come down and uh, for this also making that seventy thirty or take it fifty and fifty. Save it and let's up update it. After that, come to appearance and because I need this footer color should be also pink. So for that, I have to do. loaded now appearance b theme option in b theme option i have to go for color and footer so 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 copy the direction here yeah. so mention like Color, the footer, uh, footer theme, color, footer background. Yeah, just take that color. And footer text color, make it as white. Save it. Check. Yeah, it's properly working. Thanks. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do like and share this video, and please please subscribe my channel. If you subscribe my channel, then it will be help me to make more video like that. If you have any personal request, you can write in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.